Welcome back everybody to the Sprinkler channel. Today we're going to be talking all about the Rainbird 3500 that I have here and how do we adjust them and all the different other adjustment things that are on the top of the sprinkler head as well as some other things that uh, you might not know about that's unique to the Rainbird 3500. So let's get started. The Rainbird 3500 is kind of like the younger sibling of the Rainbird 5000 that we've uh, talked about previously. And you can see the dimensions are, uh, you know, the Rainbird 3500 is a lot smaller. Um, and then you have the pop-up, Rainbird pop-up. So it's kind of in the middle there. The, the pop-ups will cover five to 15 feet a radius. And then you have the Rainbird 5000 that we talked about that covers anywhere from approximately 35 feet to 50 feet. And then you have this that fits right in the middle to where it goes 15 feet to 35 foot spray. And uh, that's what we're going to be talking about today. So just a, a, a few things to know about the Rainbird 3500 is the inlet size underneath is half inch. So when you go to select your funny pipe elbow, you want to make sure you get the half inch uh, elbow for that. And that's going to be the same as a, a regular four inch pop up head. Uh, it's, it's not the same as the 5000. So just make note of that. Um, also, another unique thing about the Rainbird 3500 is the removable filter that you'll find as you take, take it out of the body. And underneath here, you can just use your Rainbird tool and, and pop it out just like that. It's really simple. Looks like Elon's space shuttle. Um, and then you can just clean that out and, and reinstall it. Just make sure when you reinstall it that you, you push it to where it clicks. Just like that. Okay? so. Now let's move on to the different slots that are found at the top of the Rainbird 3500. So the first one that you'll want to know uh, is the pull the pull up slot. So with this cross in the Rainbird tool, that's what that's for. So you just put it in the slot, just kind of you can see the markings, how you insert it there. And then once you insert it, then you just turn it 90 degrees and then it will catch on to the head and then you can pull out the head like that. So that way you can get access to the nozzle. And this one, as you can see, doesn't have a nozzle. So this, that, that will bring you to the next thing is, is the nozzle. And so this one with the arrow at the top right here, it has a screw in it to be able to screw down and hold the nozzle in place once you install it. So check out the other video that we made about installing the nozzle for the Rainbird 3500 and that will go more in depth about understanding the charts for the nozzles, being able to select the right nozzle for that, and, uh, and then how to install it in the head, since we're not gonna go over in this video. But just to give you an idea, so with that front screw, just like that, and you find the slot to where that flat head sinks down into the slot, and then you start screwing that screw down, and you can start seeing it uh, come down. So, and, and the purpose of that is to one, hold hold the nozzle in the slot, and then two, if you need to make some slight adjustments, reducing the, the radius or how far it sprays, then you use that to deflect the water, uh, and then that will shorten the distance. So that's the second uh, item at the top of the head. So you have your pull-out slot to be able to lift the head up, and then you have your screw that will hold the nozzle in and reduce the distance it throws. And then, the, the main one I would say here is the arc adjustment. So um, when we want to change the, the degrees that it rotates, and usually they come preset at 180 degrees. And here's the really important thing that you remember about Rainbirds we've talked about in previous videos is Rainbird rotor heads are always fixed left. So when we do this adjustment here with the plus or minus, it's only gonna be changing the right side, all right? So don't forget that, just remember that one thing. Um, it's, it's the opposite with a hunter head. Um, and so, um, so right now, let's see. So if we have 180 degree uh, rotation like that, and say we're in a corner, we're installing it in a corner and we only want 90 degrees. So all we have to do is, once again, stick the Rainbird tool in the slot right here and then rotate it until you feel it sink down into that slot. So 
we'll check that one more time because it's really important otherwise you're going to be wasting your time make sure it slides down just like that now you're going to want to rotate it counterclockwise to reduce the rotation amount so go from 180 degrees to 90 degrees and so we'll start rotating counterclockwise and you don't have to rotate it much we're just going to rotate it just uh, maybe a half or three quarters of a turn and then and then we'll rotate it back to the left and then and then we'll see where we're at right there so now let's see we're at there and that's just a little bit more than 90 degrees so we'll go back into the slot find the slot and counterclockwise to rotate it towards and then and then there you have it you have 90 degrees it starts on the left and then and then it rotates just like that to 90 degrees now another big question is what if when i install the sprinkler head it uh, the left side is not where it needs to be how do i change that fixed side and it's actually really simple with the rainbirds um, you simply can rotate once you turn it all the way back to the left you can just rotate it with your hands to go back okay so i think they call this the slip clutch design and uh, you just rotate it back to where you need your left point and then and then you can uh, and then you can uh, just go back to the right one thing to note about the difference with 3500 is you're actually increasing the radius so i want to set the left first and then adjust the uh, the rotation amount to the 90 degrees because otherwise as i rotate it to the left it's going to be actually increasing the radius as well as changing up that left fixed position so all right so that's that's how you change the radius of of the rainbird 3500 and uh and that's what you need to know to uh go out there and adjust your rainbird 3500 if you have any other questions leave them in the comments below and we'll get to them and thanks for watching we'll catch you in the next one